we should be recording. I want to give it a couple seconds because, you know, things lag, things crash. Yep. I don't, I'm going insane. Anyways, hey, uh, welcome to the Outlaws podcast. I'm Aries. You already know me, your local crackhead at the Denny's. Uh, we're joined here with Tamashi or Tama. You can find him on TikTok, Twitch, YouTube, OnlyFans. Uh, wherever you. else you can, except the Denny's, because that's my turf, bitch. Uh, we also yeah. have the unusually friendly zombie, who I don't believe is a content creator, right? I have not been in previous con in uh, previous podcasts or been a commenter, so <laughs> my first time here. <laughs> and you're not a content creator, like at all, ever in general. I used to be, but uh. Dude, you're having some, uh, how do I say this, problems with my uh, provider. It kind of ended up becoming not so much. Because I used to stream for uh, people, and then things arose, and now I'm like, eh. I feel you on that. But yeah, this so is the podcast for Don't get today. Comcast Xfinity, whatever you do. <laughs> Ugh. I mean, I don't even have that availability. They're probably the second worst of, uh, provider in America. I thought CenturyLink was. No, um, Spectrum is the worst. Hmm. On what? Internet. Oh, yeah. I have Spectrum. It is the worst. I can tell you that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've had um, my crush living down a couple states south from me. Um, her uh, spectrum cut her off like two years ago, and she had to live on her um, hot mobile hotspot for up until today. God damn. And uh, so those spectrum guys down there, they had to switch their name so to avoid uh, legal uh, battles. Oh yeah, they're afraid. They're afraid of um, people coming after them. So they're just like, oh, we're just gonna change our name. Makes sense. And you'll never, and you'll never know it's us. Yeah, let's just liquefy all of our assets. You know, get our employees legal name changes, and you know, plastic surgeries if requested. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Yep. As far as I know, I'm still on a debate whether to get rid of it. <laughs> Uh, but, what other what other uh, services are around you? Sadly, this one. I don't know other services. Oh, yeah, I think it has a monopoly over us over here. To be honest. Yikes. Yeah, I, I'm. I gotta ask a friend of mine, but I'm pretty sure it's the same one. Ugh. But I have a feeling it's gonna be paying premium at that point. In the shit. I'll tell you how many services I have or the services names, except uh, one, it's going to dox me. More. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's fucked. Yikes. Yeah. This is America. <laughs> it's fucking weird, it though, man. the greatest country in the world. Wait, we used to be? We used to be, yeah. And I, Finland has that award. It's funny enough. I, I can't remember a time where we were. Uh, I think back in, like, the early 2000s, we were pretty chill. I don't even you know, think before, back before then. Before the whole 9-11 thing happened. I, I think we are shit before that. And yes, I was alive before that. <laughs> I vaguely remember what, everything that happened back then, especially when nine eleven happened. I wasn't even looking at the TV. I I remember it was probably for the better that I was that I was kept away from the TV. I mean, I remember Y two K. Oh God! Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Seriously, that was a lot of fun, wasn't it? <laughs> when you put it like that, I guess so. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. I still think we're fucking shit, but yeah, no. 
I think like what we were doing was the same thing China it was doing like China number one, you know, like America number one. Oh yeah. But I I don't really think that either uh the US or uh China are number one, especially now. Yeah. But people say, people have been saying Finland is uh the best in the world, which I can't really say if that's true or not, because you know, I haven't really been there. Yeah, I mean, I got a couple. But if you want to be happy, hey, go on to Finland. I'm I'm more leaning towards uh, Sweden. Really? Yeah. And like, all right, this is gonna sound really fucked up, right? But like, um, the drain is fucking beautiful. There's like so much shit you can do, like activities, you know, whatever. Plus, the banking there is awesome. And, like, the food is even good. The fucking culture, everyone's nice and respectful. You can, like, leave a door open and not worry about someone breaking the fuck into your house. There's that. I mean, yeah, sure, someone might, but, you know, like, the chances of it is, like, you know, astronomically fucking lower. Plus, they have, like, what, the same gun laws as us, but just more training. Like, you can own, you know, fucking mass firearms and shit at the same rate we can. Mm-hmm. Plus, you know, the majority of them all concealed carry. Like, I think it's, like, nine out of every ten Swedish have a gun on them. I could yeah. be wrong on that. But where I said before I went on this little tangent, this is going to sound a little fucked up. The women are fucking beautiful. I've actually never, I don't think I've ever seen a Swedish woman, honestly. Mm. Well, I don't think Tama heard what I said, so, you know, we're pretty solid there. He's a good Catholic man. Yeah. Yeah, so. Hey. Oh, there he is. So I got you... my favorite poster. I saw that. <laughs> so you didn't hear what I just said, right? Good, yeah? Uh, what, what did you say? Okay, yeah, we're good. We're solid, Zombie. We're good. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Give me a second. I need to put these machetes away. Machetes. Yeah, no, it's uh, two Vietnam ones and then one from uh, Mongolia. Ah. Yeah. Uh, The last time I was in this room, um, me and two other guys were in Outlaws and we were using the uh, pancake bot as a DJ and we were doing a uh, we were uh, freestyle rapping go it, it was pretty fucking fun nice. yeah no um like we were we were just spitting off the shit that we had on our head you know um yeah i was uh incredibly drunk i actually brought the bottles of vodka with me in here and we're just like drinking i have an ice machine right here and we're just drinking you know doing all that i took a little bit of cbd thomas shut the fuck up Uh. (laughs) (laughs) and uh you know like we're we're just having fun doing our thing and uh I, i came up with some fucking bars like jesus christ like um they pass it on to me, and they're just like, Aries, what pisses you off? Spit about it. And I'm just like, I'm pissed that motherfuckers think that orange don't, don't rhyme with anything. I mean, like, come on, I'll smash your head on a door hinge. <laughs> My house is even on a mortgage. Like, <laughs> like, we're just going. It was fucking stupid. It was fun, though. Nice. Yeah, and that leads me to today's sponsor. Our Discord. Join it. Link's down below. Have fun. Mm. You might see us. Take yeah, around. See you there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're in it right now. Yep. Ah. All right, that's Wouldn't it. Sponsor. That technically, over. be a sh- what they call a shameless plug. Yes. <laughs> I call them sponsors because I think it's even more stupid. <laughs> I mean, 
fucking way that works, right? Like two sponsors, the fucking video, you know, one at the twenty minute marker, one at the forty minute marker. I just did this one like ten minutes early. God, I go. want to get drunk. Going through so, that withdrawal is very serious. Withdraws, no, it's just better for content because I don't have to be sober and actually like try and make content. I could just be like, <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna go blow up a car. <laughs> you know, like. Next thing uh, you know, you're butt naked with no wallet, no pants, and no shirt. And so what happened? Dude, if I lost a wallet, holy fuck, that'd be scary. I mean... Oh, God. Not 20, 40, 60, 80. Like, I have more bills than me, that's for sure. Uh, yeah. You just gotta hit a convenience store. Uh, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm probably on like three watch lists because of neighbor already. It's entirely fine. Oh, Tama doesn't know neighbor. Huh. <laughs> Should he know about neighbor? He's going to. Later. Oh boy. Probably. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna yeah, be a lot of fun. To yap my ear off. Oh no, uh so Tama, he's not a gun nut or any no, he's he's uh a good Catholic man, never broke a bone, never broke a pencil, never I scraped never his, killed the person, never <laughs> scraped his knee. He's a good Catholic man. Yes. And I'm just over here eating stir fry that's made out of bear and elk. Oh god. god. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm just gonna say this up front. I hate stir fry. Ah, uh, makes sense. Do your own. I just had to use the meat. <laughs> Damn. I'm just saying. Like, I'm not gonna make a fucking enchilada out of bear. No. I'm gonna do something else with it. And what's the easiest thing? Stir fry. It's easy. Very fucking simple. Put it all in a pan. Let it cook. Bing, bang, boom. Bang. You got food. Ain't bad to try out an enchilada that's made out of the bear. It, no, you no. Yeah, but I mean, it's not that filling though. It's no, like no, no. Bear, bear is like a lot more tender. Like it, it's not like a fucking. Uh, it's like steak. Mm -hmm. you yeah. Know? When you make an enchilada, you want like ground hamburger. You don't want, you know, fucking chunks of steak. Oh, you guys use that? Oh, we use different varieties of meat okay yeah now i can understand the like different varieties <laughs> like chicken turkey you know etc i can understand that chicken, but, like, turkey, yeah. but like bear where i say it's like steak it's like a hybrid between it okay it's it's mm -hmm. weird i could draw it better than i could describe it damn and you know my drawing sucks ass. So right, we have our moments, we have our masterpiece, and then we have our worst masterpiece that's always in the closet that we never pick out. Grandma? <laughs> well, that's my closet. <laughs> <laughs> he just slowly like, he's like, never pick out, and then it's the door slowly opens from the background. I said never open. <laughs> Been in your closet, just opens it and opens the door and just stares at you like I heard you talking shit. Yep. About the art that you made me. <laughs> you made me, sir, and now you're gonna reap your benefits. Benefits? Mm -hmm. Benefits or regrets? <laughs> what kind of benefits are we talking about here, friends? Yes. Awful benefits. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Well, I mean, he really is... say it as friends with benefits. <laughs> what? I don't know. Make it, but make it interesting and have it like friends without benefits, and you'll really be into it. Oh yeah. Oh god. It just makes it interesting. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really in the way taking out an, an introvert friend as an extrovert. Oh, it's so tall. I'm gonna oh, suck your dick. 
Yeah. Yeah, like that friend that says that, and then he's like, okay, I'm out the door. <laughs> it's like, you got me moving, okay. I don't want that. And your friend is like, oh, so how did you get your in introvert friend out of the, like, house? I just said one word, and that's all it took. Well, two words. And I'm like, oh, how did that go? It did not receive well. What are the two words? Free tacos. Yeah. Sorry, I just Ima tried Imagine saying social life and that's all it takes. Free social gathering. Free tacos. Yeah, free tacos, yeah. Mm -hmm. Food actually does. Have fun burritos. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can't go wrong with burritos. You, me, raw burritos, now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you say raw burritos? Yeah. That's what we have in uh, my state, but, but like, I never go there because I'm just sick and tired of them mixing all this crap in my burrito. I'm like, let me have my own. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Are we, there, there's a double negative. Is it like an actual burrito? No, it's a, it's a chain of... Uh, it's kind of like Subway, but like not so, as known. So, so it's food, yes. Yes, it's a yeah, it's a it's a burrito making chain. It's okay. kind of like Subway, except you don't really see it nowadays. I was thinking about something entirely different. <laughs> what were <laughs> you yeah. thinking? Well, I mean, there's three of us. There's three raw burritos here. There you. I'm not. Th I'm not that plump as a burrito. Damn, dude. Make a compliment, bitch. <laughs> I seen. <laughs> I seen you on Snapchat now. <laughs> oh, oh damn. Oh, that's gotta crossing hurt. The crossing the line there in my burrito, sir. <laughs> my God. And you were worried. This isn't live. We're totally fine. <laughs> <laughs> dude. All right. Yo. For for real though, no, uh, I I really do want these podcasts to be like in real life, you know, mm -hmm. like where we sit yeah. at a table and shit. Like, dude, um, uh, if when we make it bigger and all this other shit, we get like a lot of money, whatever. We're streaming as our career. We you know can do this regularly, do all that. I would just find it funny as fuck just just to, like hop in a discord you know like brand a server or something like that zombie and just like hey uh what are you doing this friday and you're like uh nothing i'm like when is the next time you gotta go to work and you're like uh monday and i'm like all right um uh, go to this airport here's this name just go to the receptionist say this and then you'll be directed to go to where you gotta go and you're like what and i'm like yeah do it friday and just like fucking leave and just like have you not be able to contact me you go to the airport private jet and I'm just like what the fuck you fly and you land in like nellis air force base <laughs> <laughs> That whole time you're just thinking, what the fuck did that guy make me do? Yeah, but like you get on, you get on the plane and you land and you're in a military base, like <laughs> you know, and just like fucking, you're just like you know surrounded by RP. Yeah, you're just like, where the fuck am I? This isn't the airport. ARs and all this other shit. Just like get out of the fucking plane. <laughs> <laughs> Then you just see me in an SUV outside of the fence, just waving, hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I brought damn. tacos you to free! You have the instinct to just point at him and be like, that's him! That's him! <laughs> <laughs> that's the guy who touched my no-no square! <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, bring it further, dude. Your ass getting shot. <laughs> and then, like, you know, Sergeant Major walks over, hey! And I'm just like, I have free tacos. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, it'd be funny as hell. Mm -hmm. But like, come on, that'd be fun, right? It would be kind of fun. <laughs> it would be fun. That'd be uh, like a cheap knockoff of scare tactics, but if they had a bigger budget. Oh yeah. I mean, who needs a budget? 
I just need a plane. <laughs> and a military airbase. No, I don't even need that. I got a couple. Oh, God. Yeah, you feel like I'm joking about Nellis. <laughs> <laughs> I've been to Nellis a couple times. Uh, I actually have pictures on a burner phone of uh, me and a Reaper drum. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, those things are fucking massive, man. Yeah, I got pictures. I also have a picture of me and Linda Lee at my uh, great-grandfather's memorial service. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, I was shocked when I found out she was white. Hmm. Uh, you gotta keep in mind, I'm like fucking eight years old, okay? Mm. And I, I see her, and I'm just like, who is that lady? And my mother's like, that's Linda Lee. And I'm like, oh, she's white. For you, okay. for, for the people who don't know, Linda Lee is Bruce Lee's wife. Mm. And she still lives in Idaho. So. Damn. I'm not saying her location. But for, but for her to be white, like, would anybody really expect that, though? <laughs> but you gotta keep in mind, I'm a little fucking kid. Eight, you know? Yeah, but still, like, even though you're you were eight at the time, and you would be like, wow, oh, she's white? I mean, not many people would probably know about that, even in 2023. Mm -hmm. If they were, like, 20, 30, they probably don't even know that they probably don't even know who the fuck Bruce Lee is. Oh my god, that that's true as well. Oh. Yo, so, so zombie, you see us right now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, check this up. So, uh, in this household, uh, it's me and my mother. But in like two years, it will be her husband and his daughter too, and um, his daughter. I, I went up to her in front of everyone and I'm like, hey, if you had to do like a hand gesture, like you you were like talking to a person on the phone, like you had to do a hand gesture, like, you know, call me or whatever, right? How would you do the hand gesture of it? You know what the kid did? What? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's the best way a kid can really explain it. Mm -hmm. I can't even. I can't even laugh at him. I'm more like laughing with him because I'm just like, yeah. It looks like a phone, so you might as well just hold it like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, like you know, I got this fucking phone right here. Yeah, you know, go like that. Then I got this phone right here. Yeah, go like that. Yeah. Yeah. But like, uh, you know. You you remember the uh, ju the jukebox phone, the little slim one that like you would press a button and it would slide out like a switchblade, right? Oh my god, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Fucking loved that phone. It was a piece <laughs> of shit, but it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'm sorry, you go to school or something like that, you know, and like your friends are like, Man, does anyone have a cell phone? I need to call my mom. And you're just like, yeah. And, she, and it's like, knife. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. Sorry. <laughs> Outside of Vegas, you know, people get scared. For sure. Uh, Whatever I mean, happens in the U.S. stays in the U.S. Right. You know, what happens in your bowels doesn't stay in your bowels. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even if it includes a switch blip. Uh, a switchblade in the form of a phone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, like, hey, check this out. So this is a new knife I got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, yes, I have magazines of cigars. Fucking sue me. I don't give a shit. Okay. So this knife, right? Yeah. Uh, me and Ben, uh, the podcast I uploaded onto YouTube today, uh, that podcast, uh, me and Ben, when we went to his place, uh, 
me and him, we decided to go bar hopping. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. we went back to his place and um, we kind of hit the hookah like a, a lot. And uh, he, so how you work the hookah is uh, you got the water, you got the pipe, you know, and then you put the tobacco on the top and then like tin foil, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. He needed to cut holes in the tin floor. So he's like, hey, you got a knife? I'm like, yeah. And I hand him this, not with the blade out. And I said, hold up. Before I hand this to you, this knife is really sharp. And he's like, okay, yeah, sure. All knives are sharp. And I'm like, no, this knife is really fucking sharp. And he's like, how sharp? And I'm like, sharper than a fucking surgical razor. And he's like, how did you get it that sharp? I'm like, how about we don't ask questions and just be careful with the knife? And he's like, okay. Yeah. Literally, this is just extremely fucking sharp. Wow. Yeah. It is. Just, like butter. Yeah, it is just really it fucking. Tear. It just poked right through and just, just mm -hmm. went across like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is just like really fucking sharp i have to like apply a little pressure to get that going but then it just cuts through it just cuts through just like that yeah mm -hmm. so <laughs> yeah so well, that's what can happen to a piece of paper imagine what it could do to skin yeah when you use it, it on the shave aluminum off foil. Your hairs just like that yeah but when you use it on aluminum foil it makes the blade sharper <laughs> Oh God. Oh, <laughs> yeah so he went to go make like a little slice in it and he accidentally cut the entire thing in fucking half oh god yeah damn. and he was like holy shit you weren't kidding i'm like yeah no goddamn shit <laughs> <laughs> i've i was laughing my ass off and then i got a couple cool pictures of me hitting the fucking hookah you know i'm like yeah <laughs> but you know i don't even consider that a knife you want to see a real knife no <laughs> oh i love those knives yeah this one isn't they actually do. sharp like this side is sharp this side is dull as fuck mm. dull sharp yeah which is basically how a knife should behave i think no i want both of them to be fucking sharp it's just, uh, oh God. I haven't sharpened that one at all, like ever. Uh, mm -hmm. it's still like manufactured, so yeah, it's just new, new piece of shit. Mm. I've always thought about uh, buying a knife, but I don't know, uh, from what company you and you can't really just go on like Amazon and get a knife because who the fuck does that? I've only kind of bought hard. I've only bought one knife. <laughs> and you, how did you get the others? They're given to me. Mm. I mean, here, I just reach my hand down here and I pull out two. <laughs> oh god, what the nice. hell? Yeah. Uh there's another one right there. Right, two actually. I don't even know why I have this right next to me. Hmm. It's a scope. Ooh. That kind of looks like... No, that's not a hunting scope. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, I, I, I got distracted. I should not have that thing. I don't know where to put this now. No, it's like it. Right there. Sorry, I get distracted. I can't fuck. Sue me. Dude, it's a podcast. You can do anything. No. I can't do drugs. Well, not everything. <laughs> <laughs> drugs, you say. What about legal ones, you say? <laughs> what? I mean, I eventually you can do marijuana. I mean, I, I, I hope the God on that part, you know, like it, it would, it would be really fucking good. Cause it would help with like so much fucking shit. Mm -hmm. What? 
Seems like you're doing crack, huh? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bill, man, chill. <laughs> the only time I've ever tried to do drugs was trying to smoke a grape flavored cigarette, and then I just like gagged because I. The, the next thing I said was, "This doesn't taste like grape at all." So I never touched cigarettes after that. Damn. I was just so disappointed. <laughs> Mm. God, I want to go get a smoke a fucking cigar. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like trying to quit smoking. That's kind of hard. Oh, I'm doing really fucking really good. Hard. I am doing really fucking good. I'm doing really good. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. The but if you try to ever tell me to like. Quit drinking. That's never gonna happen. Um, I mean, I, I, because I, honestly, ever since I touched like wine, I was like, eh. But then once I got into whiskey, that's when everything hit the fan. <laughs> you know, it's a weird construct to understand. Mm. Whiskey is, it... is like really fucking cheap for us because we have like a lot of it, right? But then like yeah. tequila is like really expensive, and we don't have a lot of it. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But then in Mexico, it's like really fucking cheap for them. But the whiskey is really expensive. And over here, a lot of people prefer to drink tequila. But then when you go to Mexico, a lot of people like to drink whiskey. Mm. Mm -hmm. I guess it varies. I guess whatever is accessible. Yeah. Yeah, whatever is accessible. Like, you know, if the most is, you know, the most cheapest or like the most used lot, more likely not be drink a lot. Compared to the other areas, that's very rare to drink. I guess but, people. No, it's about status. That's true. Like, yeah, oh, uh... you can afford this forty dollar bottle of whiskey. Good for mm-hmm. you. Over here, you're like, oh, you can afford this one hundred dollar bottle of tequila. Good for you. Oh yeah, prices do actually make a certain status to some people. Yeah. And this is why I'll never buy diamonds unless it's to make diamond. Tipped bullets. Mm. Yeah, no, fuck you. Look, all right. I'm just saying this, right? Look, let's say I was rich, bought a lot of diamonds. Huh, sweet. There we go. All right. What am I going to use them for? I'm going to make them fucking bullet tips, you know? Like, what the fuck else do you think I'm going to do? Because, like, all right, you drive down my street. Yeah, you can shoot from my house. Wow. I can shoot through a fucking tank already. All right, chill. <laughs> imagine, imagine shooting someone it was like yeah he got 10 grand inside himself already he's gonna die but expensively yeah Sur- but... the surgeons extracted diamonds out of him it's just like what the fuck <laughs> yeah. it would it be like, better would... if they're hollow points like <laughs> oh god no <laughs> hollow point ak-47 <laughs> seven six stop make... stop he's already dead Imagine. I still have four bags left. <laughs> oh God! So this is all you're gonna pay for his medical bills. It's already been paid in bullets. It's already been paid in diamond tip bullets. <laughs> Make the surgeons work for it. <laughs> Just look inside him. Yeah, <laughs> literally God. pays the bills. <laughs> his eyes are glistening. Oh no, that's just fragments. Oh God! Oh, dear God! Oh God! Are we gonna go to hell? Fuck yes. Bring the guns. <laughs> if I'm gonna go to hell, I'm gonna bring diamond tipped. <laughs> uh, I mean like come on, dude. Like literally, alright. I know I I cannot take the mag out. I cannot take the mag out. I got two well, guns. I wanna, right take the mag out. I wanna take the mag out. Like I got two <laughs> guns. Like, I'm not flagging myself, barrels pointed this way, you know, like, not flagging myself, but, yeah, I got guns. These are just right next to me. (laughs) Yeah, I mean, I wish I owned a gun, but I just don't know which one I want to start off with. No, you want a twenty-two revolver? Oh, don't tempt me. (laughs) I mean, I got, like, a little candy dish right next to me, and it's just, like, little twenty-twos. They're hollow points. (laughs) 
Nice. Oh god, you're really tempting me now, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, I got 9 mil in there too. Nice. Like a little candy dish. I'm not even joking. I'd pick it up at the seven six two, but like it, it's like gold trim, and it, it's like glass, and it has like it's entirely see through, and there's like little doves and roses and shit. It's it's like something you'd see at a Chinese restaurant. Wow! I just have ammo in it. I wonder. <laughs> That'd be scary if you just tipped over the whole thing. <laughs> it's like, oh shit. What do you mean? No, dude, I have a fucking nine mil. So, uh, uh the box fan right here, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. box fan is on the bottom plug. I have a nine mil on top of that, and then I have an air freshener that is only there because it's being supported by the nine mil. <laughs> oh know. my god! You're playing Russian roulette with life, then? No, it's aimed at my hallway. <laughs> It's like some guy extreme guys. Russian roulette. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, literally. That one guy. Where's it gonna go? No one knows. <laughs> no one knows but hell, apparently. <laughs> that and the neighbor know. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Uh, this is gonna be fun. You wanna hear something even more stupid? Go ahead. So uh, I can't show the name of this receipt. So uh, I went to a restaurant with a dude. I don't know if you can read that. Mm -hmm. uh, the lettering up here says FMJ. That's 308 and that's 50. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Me and this guy, he's a war veteran. Uh, we went to this cafe, got breakfast. And um, he's like, man, I need to find a place to buy ammo, but no place even near sells ammo I need. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, 308 and 50 BMG. I'm like, how many rounds? He's like, uh, 50 BMG, about like a thousand or more. And I'm like, I can help you with that. And he's like, how? I'm like, internet. You can buy all sorts of things on the internet. You want a kidney too? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> but, uh. We're in a cafe. It's like packed. There's people everywhere. And I'm just like talking to this dude about like buying thousands of rounds of ammunition. And there's like, you want a kidney too? <laughs> like he knows I'm joking, but everyone else is like. Everybody else is just giving that, that really worried glare. Yeah. But um. Uh... Yeah, no, we, we sat down, we talked, we ate breakfast, uh, I ordered some fucking omelet that had potatoes in it, it was weird as shit, and, uh... Never heard of that before. Yeah, right? But, um, the fucking waitress, she comes over, hands us the bill, me and this dude get into a fight over who's gonna pay the bill. Wow. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, <laughs> fucking... That kind of reminds me of that whole family guy thing. Yeah, but he's like, I'm, I'm, chicken, trying to fucking pay a bill. Yeah, but he's like, we didn't actually fight, but like, you know, he's like, I'm gonna pay for the mill. I'm like, dude, I got money. You're on disability. Let me pay. And he's like, nah, nah, it's fine. I'm like, dude, if you don't let me pay, it's gonna go to nicotine. Okay. And he's like, nah, nah, I'm gonna pay. I'm like, all right, fine. I'm a tip. So <laughs> he paid the bill. And then I just, I, this is, I, I had nothing smaller. Okay. I had no bill smaller, but I tipped a waitress to 20. <laughs> but I had a feeling that you were going to tip her that much. But like, I had like legit even right now. Okay. And the only reason why I actually like, dude, all right. My small bills. Okay. My small bills yeah. I have three fucking ones on me. Okay. Three fucking mm -hmm. ones. Then I just got 20. <laughs> Damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you want a $3 tip or a 20? Pick a fucking choice. Oh, my God. I can't even say something like, can you, can you take this 20 and give me like a 10 or two 10s or something so I can tip you? 
Tama, are you on your period? No. I accidentally was messing around with an actual pen, and apparently the full red ink got oozed all over my hand. Like the whole ink. Bloody hell, dude. I know. I was like, I was wondering why there was always red in my hand through these past few days until I realized one pen was the issue the whole time. Here, you guys talk. I gotta use the restroom. I'll be back. So yeah, I thought I thought like these past few days I was just bleeding through my face. No, I was wrong. It's a pen. No, it was just a pen. <laughs> it's like fudge, dude. Fudge. That comes up. Honestly, funny funnily enough, uh I was back in uh high school uh, mm. and I was flipping a uh, pencil around, but stupid me didn't realize how sharp the pe- the pencil was. It land it landed tip first on my on the palm of my hand, and I still have that mark to this day. Hell. I was just waiting for this whole time, thinking like, "What the hell am I gonna do with it? <laughs> do I have to like cut the damp and open and get it out, or what?" It wasn't like a piece of lead is like stuck in there. It was just there because it's just <laughs> real inconvenience. Makes sense. And, stupid, and just batshit stupidity, I guess. That's fair. We all run through that. It's horrible. I had like um, what was it? I had someone I knew in class that actually did the same thing with the pen, but of like the lead pencil. Yeah. And apparently he actually like, I don't know why, but he kind of like. Was trying to do a magic trick with it, but he accidentally ate it. Oh God! Yeah, he was kind of like he broke. It's probably the... like, oh shit, that wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah, that was his mind the whole time. Like when he broke it in half, and he was like, oh, I can make this like stand up, right? And he like pops it, and it goes all the way up, and he looks up, and he kind of accidentally has his mouth open and swallows it. It swallows it. It's just like, oh fuck. Yeah, it was like fuck. Like, well, you go into the nurse's office, that's what's gonna happen. But nah, he turned out fine at the end of the day, but I was like, eh. The only thing is, uh, I don't know what's the precaution for just swallowing a whole lead pencil or some half of it. I think you'll be fine, right? The person's all right, right? <laughs> Never thought of it. He's all. He's gonna be fine. The yeah, lead, no. the lead part is scary. Everything else is fine. I mean, like, dude, there's a motherfucker who ate like three fucking planes, a boat, and like seventeen cars, and a tractor. That's true. Christ. Damn. Yeah. No, he was legit, dude. But like, um, you can you can eat metal and you know and actually survive off of it. That's true. Lead, however, <laughs> I know. lead on the other hand, yeah. I mean, like, I mean, I know why we turned out the way we did. Little paint chips, you know. That is yeah. true. I didn't think about that, but yeah, back in the day, there lead was used in paint a lot. Yeah, I have lead-based plates. Damn. Yeah, come over to my house to share a meal. I got, um, you know those uh, Shrek cups that they used to have that used to turn out poisonous, unconsumable, but they turned out to have a recall for McDonald's? Oh, no. I, no. I think they had, like, lead and other stuff, chemicals in it. Dude, and you apparently... Gotta, you gotta give them... Huh? McDonald's is a fucking eight-hour drive for me, man. I know, but we kept those cups. Four of them. We didn't even know they were that poisonous. Until recently, yeah. We didn't drink it. Luckily, we did not drink from those cups. We just had them there. That's all we did. Dear God. Yeah. What a liacha, <laughs> do <Dude, laughs> <they> do. <laughs> so, yeah. My mother says, do we drink from this? Like, no, I saw this. <laughs> those are unconsumable. I'm like, oh. Then why do we have them? Like, I don't know. 
Didn't anyone just buy it way back then? I'm like, yeah, our, our family members were into this stuff. I'm like, oh, that's why. God. Yeah. No questions if it was usable or not or consumable. I mean, yeah, they're in your cabinets. Or, yeah. I mean, hmm. I, I would go get them right now, but I don't want to. But, like, I got, like, an entire set. An entire set, you know, like all right, you know the gravy thing that you pour, right? Mm -hmm. Like you got those uh serving plate platter things, you got all that shit. Yeah, no, I, I have a lot. Like it's an entire set. I can't use it. You know why? Mm. Why? Because it's all painted with lead. Oh god. Yeah, the plates, all the yeah. So if you come over to my house and you're eating off a plate that isn't blue and white or just white should probably put it down just saying good to know <laughs> yeah. yeah if it's yellow you might need to go to anywhere, anywhere. like <laughs> no they'll, they'll diagnose you with cancer or something damn it's like hey you got cancer now it's just like fuck no like all right look all right, let's say we're we're at my place, we're eating, we're having fun, you know, whatever. Yeah, we're good, happy, fucking merry, whatever. Let's say we're eating Taco Bell. It doesn't matter, okay? And then you feel ill. You want to go to the hospital. You go to the hospital, and you're trying to pass a kidney stone, right? Oh, God. Well, you know, there just happens to be the surgeon who I'm not going to name, who's going to do a colonoscopy on you. And, you know, might end up nicking your spleen and then making you fly, life flighted, to another fucking hospital to get treated. But as you are being life flighted over there and that surgeon is not even with you and still at the other hospital, he's going to diagnose you with something. Damn. Like colon cancer or something. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Um, basically misdiagnosed, basically. A lot. Yeah. You know why? Mm. Money. Ah, same over here. Yeah, no, the motherfucker diagnosed me with a hiatal hernia. A fucking Gosh. hiatal hernia. If I had a hiatal hernia by this time, I would be fucking dead. Hmm. Diagnosed this time, with I mean, that. Yeah, but I mean, years ago, I would have been dead because I'm in, for fuck's sake. You you know what I actually have? What ulcers? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, it's just from not eating regularly or healthily, uh, consuming a shitload of Mountain Dew, and stress. Because then mm -hmm. the stomach acid boils up and then, you know, grows the sarcophagus and then makes the blood and the fucking organs like, oh my god, I'm in pain. And release the blood. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then, you know, that surgeon, he's just like, hey, you got a hiatal hernia. It's going to be an extended three day surgery. It's going to cost about $75,000. I know you don't have insurance, so I made it an easy 80000 You're good. I'm just like, yeah. You know, I'm just, I'm like, just gonna go. Hell? I'm gonna just go get Prozac. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it actually kind of reminds me of this recent thing that I've uh, had to endure. Um, so I recently got uh, some root canal. Uh, infections and god damn they hurt uh but i decided to get lucky and get a early clean in and have them like look at the or do x-rays on my uh, root canals turns out they tried to get me to do six of them six fucking root canals and the whole time they told me that i was just like do you realize how much that's gonna fucking cost me are you insane? 
So mom, knowing, you know, moms know what best, what's best. She's just like, we're just going to put you on uh, some antibiotic medicine and it'll go right away. And I'm going to be, <laughs> whole time I was like, um, all right. And sure enough, it's gone. So I wouldn't have to fucking worry about having to do six root canals, even though some of them are already done. Uh, wait, like cavities? Uh, no. Not cavities, just straight up root canals. If there are cavities, I'm gonna be like, you need you need to go back to the dentist because you know blood poisoning. No, no, it's not cavities. It's just an infection. Yeah, then yeah, I can see why the antibiotics work. But if it was cavities, I'm gonna be like, no. If they would have told me if it was cavities, they wouldn't leave. They wouldn't leave that out. But no, they would. They tried to get me to be like, you got to do like six of them. Six root canals. Mm. Oh, because some of the infections linked to them, even though they're like subsided for now. Yeah. Oh, here it's kind of tricky. Honestly, depending on the dentist, you have to really do a lot of research. But this happened with my fiance. Apparently, she actually was trying to get her teeth fixed or work around. And she's always cleaned her teeth like perfectly. Like compared to me, my hygiene is eh, 50 50. I, I still clean my teeth. But hers yeah, is like spotless. Is shit too. <laughs> yeah. The hers, hers is perfect. She's never missed a day. Apparently, the place that she went to kind of forced her or persuaded her to actually like remove a tooth because of a tooth infection or something like that. And that there makes sense. It doesn't. And at first, she needed to get advice from other people. And she kind of took the late notice and that was her regrets a little bit so she got the tooth removed and replaced but it turns out after later on the other dentist she was recommended said no you didn't need to get a tooth removed they just did that so they can get extra money from you and she was quite upset because it was the same person in that place that facility that was doing that to everyone and this guy got sued off the ass including got charged by oh, yeah. doing a sexual misconduct as well too wow they get him on yeah. the app but not yet yeah, no this this doctor who did that had our honey shit i can't even sue him or the hospital if i wanted to Damn. yep so i mean like if your fiance can still sue sue just saying i know yeah because like you know, just claim you need years of therapy and all this other shit, you know, whatever. Yeah, but sadly, over here, I think it depends on the timing, but it was a little late because all of it just came late notice. I mean, how long ago was it? A year ago. You can still sue. Mm -hmm. I think, like, the cutoff is, like, five years or something like that. I'll check um, on it. I don't, I don't know. Three, four, maybe five years. I, I don't know statute of limitations. I don't know the shit. I'm not a fucking lawyer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I feel and I feel like if you Google it that, you're probably gonna get put on a watch list too. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, like what's the statute of limitations? Oh hey, FBI. Uh this guy's Google You know, he also has some other questionable things. Like why does he need a thousand rounds of fifty BMG? <laughs> 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 That's a common question. Yeah, uh, I mean, like for fuck's sake, you want to know how stupid I am? Hmm. All right. So, Tama, uh, last Tuesday. What What is today? Today's Sunday, right? Yeah. 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 That's, that's why we're doing the podcast. Yeah, yeah, sorry, time friends. It's been fun. I've been busy, okay, but last Tuesday. <laughs> it's all good. Yeah, la last Tuesday, I believe, because that's when my mother had back surgery. Yeah, so on Tuesday, uh, after my mother had back surgery, I took her to a uh, town where we could go to Taco Bell. <laughs> okay, it was an entire oh, day event. Yeah, no, whatever. Anyways, we went to Walgreens, we went uh, to Winco. Or whatever fucking store. No, we didn't go to Winco. And we fucking 
went to Taco Bell and all this other shit. But when we're at Walgreens, she was like looking at makeup and other shit. And was like, alright, I'll be right back. I just roam up and down the fucking aisles, okay? Like, I haven't been there in years, you know? So it's like, what can I get? Going up and down. And then I just come across a deck of cards. Mm -hmm. Mandalorian, Star Wars edition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My dumb ass sees it. I'm just like, yeah, sure. Let's let's get a let's get the deck of cards. But I'm staring at them, and I'm just like, which one should I get? And uh, my mother sees me, comes over, and she's like, what are you staring? I'm like, deck of cards, and she's like, why? And I'm like, poker night, and she's like, oh, go with the Mandalorian. I'm like, you sure? And she's like, yeah, everyone loves it. I'm like, yeah, sure. Uh, the reason why I was staring is because I was debating on that one, the other Star Wars one. Or the fucking Doom Eternal ones. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah. But see, the only reason why I bought one deck is because this costs fucking 11 to $13 after taxes. Mm. Yikes. Yeah. So that's why I only bought one. But I got a suitcase down right there. This... That one. Mm -hmm. it's, it's filled with poker chips. Nice. Yeah. Poker nights. I'm thinking about doing one of those, you know, for a video. Just for fun. You know, strip poker or something. I don't know. Well, damn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just find it funny. Hey, mom! <laughs> <laughs> I could imagine parents coming in like, uh, what you doing, son? Oh, uh, Are <laughs> you uh, <you're> winning, son? <laughs> I am losing. <laughs> no, dad. I'm losing. <laughs> just be counting the cards and just like, you know, doing poker is 21. The <laughs> same. We can even make it a little more spicier, you know? Want to toss in a ghost pepper? Oh, God. God. I still, got like, I still got like I never actually beats. had a uh, ghost pepper, but I heard it's a nightmare to deal with. It is. Don't drink water. It adds more pain. It does. Oh, it act. It activates it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what should you drink then? Milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, milk. Drink milk. Have milk. Uh, so for this my streams, right? Uh, yeah. zombie, I know you know normally never like tune in or whatever, but like when I stream, every mm -hmm. time I hit a milestone, and the main milestone is every hundred dollars. So every hundred fucking dollars I make, I eat a ghost pepper. Oh, That's why I have so many. And uh, the thing about it is, is that like there was a time where I was given like three hundred dollars at a time, so I had to eat like three ghost peppers. And on the third one, I'm just like, I'm, I'm done. I eat more tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> like fuck you. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Yeah, but um, fucking. I drank water with him. Yes. It 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 completely killed me. Like I, I ended the stream, and like. I, I was fucking dead, you know, like snot raining out, you know, whatever. I took a fucking shower and like I was just in so much pain. I took Tums and fucking all that shit and I'm sitting down just like in agony because guess what, motherfuckers, ulcers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Ulcers, spicy food, don't go together. No, they don't. Yeah, and then I realized, like, oh, I should probably just keep milk on hand. <laughs> yeah. Imagine someone with lactose intolerance. That would be, that would be really bad. I know, like the bad combination. If they think, of all and that. they think that trying to drink water will actually help. No, it won't. Uh, that would be a pretty genius idea if you make an invention just uh like like reduce the pain tolerance or the heat 
while you're eating like ghost peppers and stuff like that like but like completely completely like oh, you God. eat it and then you drink it and then it's gone work like that i know i wish it was but i was like that would be cool i don't i feel like people need to suffer because how else are we going to get them out of the gene pool oh god that's true Oh, I just sparked an entirely new conversation, didn't I? <laughs> Charles Darwin. Sometimes we always think about that. Charles Darwin, survival of the fittest, basically. Yeah, but I mean, like, you know, like, Tom, you're in college, right? Yeah? Yeah. Does this math work make any goddamn sense to you? No, it doesn't. Well, technically, it reminds me a bit of uh, logic, of philosophy and logic, but other than that, no. Yeah. It makes entirely sense to me and anyone else who plays Rust. Damn. If you don't play Rust, you don't understand. Probably why, that's probably why I don't understand. But like even normal, like a normal fucking Rust player, they're going to look at that and be like, what the fuck is he thinking about? Then a person who has like 3,000 hours in a game like me, they're going to look at that and be like, holy fuck. Fuck, he has the formula. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, I I even have an app on my phone. I shouldn't say more details. Because if I give away my secret, then Face Punch is going to have to fix it. Mm. And they're probably going to ban me too. So I'm not going to say shit. Pretty fair. I got 3,000 hours in the game. I fucking love it. I love Rust. I probably won't play it for the rest of the year. And yes, uh, I want teammates. I want people who are good, decent human beings. I'm joking. Uh, I want people who are... <laughs> oh, Jesus. But like, no, I, I want... I want to play with people who like won't use me and abuse me, you know? Because, like, yeah, uh, you know, if we're playing a game together, all three of us, right? We're playing a game like, fuck it, Tarkov, right? Mm -hmm. and, uh, and Tama, you die. And then you're like, hey, can you guys, you know, get my gear stash at Somar so then this way uh, I'll get it back, you know, because insurance or whatever. And we'll be like, yeah, sure, what, it, you know, give us a lot of stick. So. And then we stash it for you. And then we extract, and you get your gear back, and all that shit, and we're all happy fucking dandy, right? Mm -hmm. What most of my friends did is that if I was to die, they take my loot. So then they have it, they take it. Or mm -hmm. um, when we would be in a raid, and we would go and hit these stashes in a row, one of them would get three red rebels in a row. And would not want to share it with the rest of us. And then claim that they're incredibly cheap and that you can't really sell them for a lot. You know, it's only like 2,000 or it's sorry, 200,000 ruples. So no. You get out of raid, you go into flea market, you Google it, you know, in the flea market, 1.8 million ruples. Like, nah, motherfucker. Damn. Yeah. I want to play with people who won't just like use you to gain for themselves. You know, like we're a group, we're a team, we work together, we communicate properly, and then we completely and utterly slaughter the entire enemy team. That's what mm -hmm. I want. Makes sense. I don't want a dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, then. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm getting at ultimately, but that's why I probably won't play Rust. If I am to play it, I'm probably going to play it solo. Mm. Fair. And that's going to be fucking hell. Mm -hmm. Legitimate hell. Like, that is straight up hell. Because, like, think about it. You load into a game, right? Like, let's say Minecraft, okay? Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You're in an online server, you build your base, you gather all your loot, but then you log out. Your base, come back. your base and loot is still all there. What's gonna happen, motherfuckers? People yeah. will steal it. Yeah, but in Rust, they get rockets and they shoot them at your walls and then your wall comes crumbling down and then they're like little loot goblins. They're like, oh, give me a little... Yeah, and if there's no one online... Yeah, no, everyone gets your shit. You come back to your base already decaying or decayed, and there won't be anything left. So, you know, yeah. 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 That's why I probably won't play it, you know, because, like, I don't want to go through all the headache, because, like, why do fucking I have to be the person to stay awake for a week straight? It, mm -hmm. it ain't fun to me anymore. You know, if I had friends, then, yeah, it would be fun then. Yeah. Just don't get rust. Oh, yeah. It's one of those games where you actually have to invest it with friends. And then one of them has to keep an eye on it, or at least some of y'all have to keep an eye on the base. Yeah, as much as possible. And then mm -hmm. um, if, like, you know, we're being raided and I'm calling you, you know, you better fucking answer. Say, hey, sorry, I can't talk right now. And I'm like, yo, we're being raided. And you're like, okay, you can give me four days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no it's fucked let's see that's why I like games like Tarkov and Scum Scum is like mm -hmm. Rust but a lot more difficult mm. And people are a lot more nicer. Like, you don't find those fucking neo-Nazi motherfuckers. It's just a lot nicer fucking environment. That's good. Yeah. I always thought about uh, buying uh, scum, but at the same time, do I really want to go through the trouble of having yes. to deal with not just zombies, but players and robots? Yes. Yes. And that's exactly what I wanted to do. So you you have scum? I don't, not yet. Fuck. I will get it one day though. Because uh, preferably once I upgrade this computer. Fair. Um, the mechs—they're not roaming around like what you're thinking. They just protect particular landmarks, like uh, bunkers, bases, military bases, shit like that. Mm -hmm. You can't have them as a pet. You can't build them as a player. You know, can't ride them, do anything and such, you know. They just protect a particular area. Yeah. The zombies, those are everywhere. Players, those are everywhere. But, like, you can find servers that are just, like, completely fucking chill shit. Where, like, like a PvE server. You yeah. can find them, too. Yeah. It's a pretty good shit. I love Scum. I mean, dude, even the developers of Scum, oh my god, they're so fucking nice. They're chill as shit. Um, Are they? Yeah. Some of them even stream, too. And, like, they'll do, like, uh, like the Tarkov does. Like, they'll talk about, like, their game and what they want to update on. And they even listen to the community and take feedback to improve their game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they also troll and fuck around so much. When COVID first came out, you know what they instantly did? What? They made uh, surgical masks in the game. Nice. Just straight up surgical masks. Everyone was okay. like, yeah, like for COVID, you know, because everyone had to wear a mask and all this other shit. Yeah. So, you know, Scum's just like, let's implement them in the game. Just a little fun little thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there's katanas, fucking, there's so many thousands of guns. The mechanics of the game are beautiful. I also love when you get to watch the animation of load in your magazines. Yeah, or weapon jams. Like, uh, for most yeah. guns, there's like four. Yeah. It's insane shit.
I think you could just do with like a little overhaul with uh, the gun sounds. Besides that, I think it's perfect. Yeah, I mean, I I personally think a lot of the gun sounds are good. Yeah, some of them need work, like the forty five ACPs. Yeah, but it's not a game like Tarkov. So, yeah, mm -hmm. the, these devs, uh, I forget where they're fucking from, but. I don't think they have the access of guns as the guys from Tarkov or, you know, us. Yeah. Well, they don't even need to have access to guns. Uh, they could just... Well, I don't know. If, uh, you see, you see what I'm outright, saying? Like, they could try to replicate it without a gun, but that's a lot harder than it is. Yeah, but it's, like... It's, it's easier could... said than done, I should say. Yeah, but you could just record the individual shot, you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like open environment, no echo, nothing to such, you know, no wind, nothing, just simple shot. Have that recording, mm -hmm. splice it. You have that particular shot and it just duplicates. You just copy and paste. Simple. Mm -hmm. I honestly don't know uh, how much access uh, the guy. The uh, developers over at Ready or Not have uh, access to their guns. I don't know. I know the but Tarkov I know, dudes. But I know those guys are really cool too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do some really superb shit. I never. I don't have. I don't have the game, but I know that what they do is really, really amazing. Yeah. It's not a fucking AAA studio trying to replicate Battlefield twenty. 42 or whatever it's called yeah i mean oh, like God, that was a nightmare we're gonna be we're working on our own game so yeah <laughs> not nah, no joke like uh we're, we're working on our own fucking video game here in hours yeah it's gonna be a while um we're 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 debating as of right now, he's still working on the mapping and shit. He's checking satellite imaging. But uh, we're debating on uh, two games or one. And the first, the reason why two is because if there is two, there's a free-to-play and then there's a triple-A. But if we do one, then we're dropping a free-to-play and we're going triple-A. Hmm. Hmm. And the problem is with that is that if we do the triple-A, then we need mass funding. Like... Literally yeah. tens of millions of dollars. And the reason why is because um, we're going to need servers in all the locations that the game is going to be able to be played. And I'm assuming Russia and China automatically are not going to be on the table. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely. But you, you get what I'm saying. And also, I learned something interesting. We're not going to be able to sell on Steam. And the reason why I say this is because Steam is going to try and take 30% of whatever the fuck we have as the asking price. Mm. So either the game becomes incredibly expensive, like 90 fucking dollars. Nobody's going to buy it if it's or, $90. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, no shit, but they bought Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 again. Anyways... But um, if we sell for ninety dollars, then we're you know making the money. But um, Steam will still take thirty percent of that, which is fucked. But we will still make the amount that we need. However, what we're probably looking at is making a fucking website and then just selling the game on that. So yeah, because I can make a website and so can he. He just does it more professionally. He does coding. I use Google. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, I've made a website by accident. That's, yeah. Anyway. But yeah, you get the point. Yeah. You get the point. <laughs> yeah. So, I think this is where we should end the podcast. Do you guys have any comments you want to make before we end? Uh... Yeah. No? Join okay. our Discord. Yeah, join the Discord, yeah. motherfuckers. Yeah. Join our Discord. All right. Well, you can be hey. the next guy to join our podcast. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, thank you to everyone who tuned in on um, during or after the fact. It really does mean a lot. Thank you. Please, everyone, 
Stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay you. And we'll see you guys in the next one. So please have a good one. And peace. <laughs> peace. peace. All right. Now I got to let this go for like 10 seconds. Otherwise, it'll fail. I really got to pee again. Ugh. So, Tama, how's your day? How's your life? How's the wife and kids? Yeah. <laughs>